Hey guys, what up? Uh, back again. Just wanted to keep up with my uh, wedding planning, kind of keep you guys in the loop, but also this would be just an opportunity that I'd be able to look back at it years later and also just be able to help some girls that I know are continuing on with their wedding planning and obviously they're asking me tons of questions. So um, I figured I would talk about my um, wedding planning notebook that is crucial when you're planning your wedding it just keeps you organized now my matron of honor shout out Anyan, she had originally bought me one from the bookstore but i took it apart so i took it apart and i put in portions of that but i kind of like built ended up building my own with sheets from that and Pinterest and you know whatever so I'm just gonna kind of take you guys through what I have going um, what I will continue to need and all that you guys as you guys know I live in Hawaii but I'm gonna have my wedding my full wedding in North Carolina because most of my family is there actually all of our family is there and then we're gonna have a small reception for all of our friends and stuff here out here in Hawaii so with that being said, so I'll at least start to show you my binder and like just everything in it. So the front of it, this, I love this. So this is the note that my fiance had in uh, the jar when he proposed to me on the pier in North Carolina a whole, wow, a whole year ago exactly. Exactly, or maybe a couple days but anyways um, so this was the note that he had in the jar and I'm really big on like keeping the notes that he writes to me because he's not necessarily the most romantic lovey-dovey kind of guy but it's cool when I literally can have something that he like personally wrote to me or either had help write me you know that's just how it is and then this right here is uh, for Christmas. He bought me a Cricut maker. And so this was a, vi it was actually a vinyl iron on, but I loved it so much. And I had uh, printed two and I put one on a shirt, which I'm going to show you guys in a haul once I get home so that you can see how it turned out. So stay tuned for that next video. But then this one was the other one that I made and I just really liked it. So I just put it up here. Technically it is heat transfer, but it stayed. <laughs> so, okay. So this is just a basic white binder um, that I was using to study with at one point in time um, for uh, my NCIDQ or whatnot for my interior design exam. And then in it, so I took out sheets from the um, from the one that my matron of honor, I can't remember the name of that one. I think it was a blue, it was a big blue binder and it was really great, but the binder itself was broken and they were all like that. But that was the one that I liked the most, even though the binder was broken, because it was more like the information was um, what was most appropriate. So what I started with was taking sheets out um, as far as like if you're having a long engagement, so i.e. I'm having a long engagement because again, our wedding is in September. So it was cool because it literally went down from starting from your 12 months um, all the way all the way up to up to your wedding day one day before like it was really good. But then it also had if you were doing um, a short engagement. So I liked that too just in case um, if you're doing a short engagement. Then the next thing that I also kept from that was the day of wedding schedule um, because it's really big 
for us to be able to stick to the schedule, at least so that we're not um, behind time. So I thought that was nice because they literally had like someone else's wedding up here. And then from like, bam, picking up people from the airport at this time, the I mean the day before and then the day of, what time your caterer was going to deliver the food, what time you was going to get dressed, what time you was going to get this makeup done, who's getting their makeup done here, who's getting their hair done. Like, eat, like I thought this was like really, really good. I don't know if you guys can see that. But see how it's like 9 o'clock? 10 o'clock, 11, 12, 2, 1, who it was, maid of honor, bridesmaid, 2. So I thought that was really, really good. Even down to the numbers. Like, it just was really good information that I felt like you needed to put on your schedule, the day of schedule, that I wouldn't have known that I should put up there. So I kept both of those um, articles from the book. And I'm going to have to go up. Maybe I should go and find the book that I got this from. But you can also find it on Pinterest. Like, literally, if you type in wedding schedule day of on Pinterest, you can find some. Or, I mean, eventually, obviously, I'm going to make my own. But I thought this was a good example to keep. And then the other thing I got, which is also on Pinterest that I've seen, is wedding day emergency kits. Um, and like I've started to write down stuff that I didn't see up here. Like maybe I'm going to need double sided tape, um, which actually they have up here. But like double sided tape, bobby pins, you know, maybe I need me a 360 wig, you know, I don't know. You know, just like any and everything that you can think of. And then especially with me being out here, um, it's good for me to start packing that stuff early. Because I ain't going to just be able to fly back to, to Hawaii to pick up something. You know, I'm going to have to go to the store or whatever so if I start packing it now start thinking about my wedding day emergency kit then I should be Gucci okay so I kept that from the book and then I also kept so I'm going to tell you everything that I kept from the book and then I'm going to tell you the stuff that I have started to add from the book I mean not from the book excuse me so then the next thing that I kept from the book was um all of my wedding contacts so then I've just kind of started filling it in like this would be my wedding planner that I have going I don't have my officiant figured out yet uh, that's in progress um my ceremony venue my reception venue um and I don't mind like telling you guys where because I mean nobody's wedding is going to be exactly like yours to begin with so it's fine um then I have my caterer and then I actually just figured out who my musicians are or is or is whatever um but I haven't filled that out um along with my my where I got my dress but then my alterations people which that has actually changed i've actually changed my mind on that i just haven't updated that um then of course you guys know i do invitations um so obviously i've written down my own stuff um the photographer my rentals my hairstylist my makeup artist um the florist uh the cake maker like yada 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 the list goes on so i thought that was good to keep and then the other thing that I kept was they have a wedding budget spreadsheet um, that I kept. I have, I actually have a whole Google Drive as well. Um, just because sometimes you don't always want to carry your binder with you everywhere you go. But sometimes my mom might call, hey, Keisha. Can I get such and such and such? Or do you know this, this, and this? And I'd be like, hold on, mom. <laughs> Let me look on my Google Drive because I don't know. <laughs> so, um, but they had a nice um, wedding budget spreadsheet. Um, 
that I haven't really filled out because, again, I have it on my Google Drive. Um, but, you know, maybe there's something I'm forgetting. Uh, let's see. What else did I keep? Let's see, y'all. Sorry. I got a lot of pages for the budget. Um, I thought I got... Oh, the invitation cheat sheet. Now, even though... Sorry, guys. I have a slight um, cold from... We just came back from snorkeling, so... My nose is running a little bit because we just get out the water. Now, the other thing I kept, and I kind of kept this for business purposes as well, is uh, this invitation cheat sheet. Just because sometimes I have really, really weird uh, questions with invitations that I like to just have something else to record back to even though I've been doing the invitations for like eight years that I kind of know but it kind of like it's just full other options and um, I'm gonna show you guys my invitation that I think we have finalized or almost finalized um, you know obviously I'm put a little more flair to it but I have you like the basic part of it down um, and then I kept a few of the pages for like the honored guests, you know, my, um, bachelorette, my, I mean, not my bachelorette, my <laughs> bridesmaids, my matrons of honors, uh, flower girl, um, and other honored guests that I have. So I kept those pages too. All right. So now on to the customization of it okay and just like the stuff that I've started so because I am a graphic designer and um, graphic designer and then also interior designer by trade I started doing um, different kind of like book books so that I could like get a feel of what I wanted for my wedding um hello darling <laughs> this is my fiance y'all he's over here cheesing looking at me <laughs> I'm just trying to document I mean you know <laughs> um so I started doing like a look book basically of like what I wanted so that my wedding planner wouldn't be like, oh, I want to, let's do this and this. Nah, boo. Mm -mm. We got a vision, a plan. So let's, this is what we want. <laughs> so, um, this was kind of my vision that I started with, obviously, sorry, it's all crooked. Obviously it started to morph. So this would be my like first vision. Um, so kind of like a rustic, how can I say this? You see my other hauls where I'm talking about my geometric, rustic, the brick, exposed, you know, exposed brick, white and gold kind of thing that I have going with a hint of a tropical flair, um, since I'm from Hawaii. I mean, not from Hawaii, but since I live in Hawaii. So with that being said, then, so this this was like my first like, okay, Amy, this is what I'm looking for. This is my vision. This is my idea. Let's figure out how we can execute this. About 250 guests, give or take, you know, that number might fluctuate up and down. Um, and then the next thing that I sent to her then, and this was maybe, I don't know. Let's see, I got engaged in January of 2017, now that it's 2018, and mm, found my dress in January, or probably technically February, since it was like one of the last few days before I was coming back it's here. Um, so maybe I started putting this together, maybe like March, April-ish, yeah. 
Um, so then my next kind of transformation from this mood board um, was then starting to talk about my table decor. And my vision had always been um, the monstera leaves and white and gold, the tropical flower with the accent of tropical flowers. Um, and a mixture of the um, round and rectangular tables. Oh, what else? And then all these different geometric shapes that I showed you in my last uh, geometric haul. Um, yeah, so more from from here, excuse me, to here. So started to become more like a detailed one. And like, you don't have to do this for your wedding, but it just makes it, for me, it made it easier. Like you can like put it all together on a mood, like literally just like a vision board. Like you could say that this is my vision board for my wedding. And I'm sure you guys are all familiar with vision boards. Um, or you, if not, you need to get your life because you should be familiar with the vision board because it just helps you like get to your goals in life so anyways these are my hashtag wedding goals okay so then we start now let's truck along and um we're starting to kind of like hone down like like pinterest is cool but it's not always realistic does that make sense? Like, hey, I love these, but can I find them? No. Or, hey, I love these, but these flowers is too fucking expensive. Sorry, I might cuss a few, my bad. Um, so then I did, then I kind of started to pull ideas of what we actually have bought and what we knew that was like concrete from the vision boards. So I kind of started like just this random PDF basically of um, the actual geometric shapes that you guys have seen in my last haul again. And then um, definitely still doing the monster leaves. Um, definitely want white. These are flowers that we have purchased because we're doing partial um we're doing partial artificial or silk whatever you want to call it faux whatever flowers because again if i want tropical flowers let me tell you what tropical flowers don't grow in north carolina and i'm okay with that but therefore uh my behind ain't about to pay a whole bunch of money for no real tropical flowers okay maybe some but not the whole thing so I digress. <laughs> I ain't got that kind of money. Not for that. I can put that money somewhere else. Anyways. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sidetrack. Sidebar. <laughs> um, so, we have bought all these. And we've purchased all these. And this is my morphing. We started to do, like, a mock-up. Um, let's see if you guys can see my mock-up flower arrangement that we've started right here so we literally bought these and bought these and started a test making test ones ah, sorry of these um and so there's i don't know if you guys are familiar with new river pottery um from where i'm from home you know they have the floors that'll make the flower arrangements and stuff for you all that so a florist there made that flower arrangement. But now, mind you, if you guys remember how tall my geometric shapes are, there are what? Here's a ruler right here. Maybe, maybe 10 inches high. Like, they're not big, right? He charging $20 per flower arrangement. Okay. And how many, how many flowers is on this? Y'all, there's four flowers on this. So I told my mama, um, we can DIY those, ma. Nah. 
tell him thank you for that one. <laughs> and so when I go home uh, next week or this week coming up, I'm going to be making all the rest of them. So I figured I'll probably just do another video with you guys about that. So then, okay, what else? What else do I have up here? Um, plating ideas. And then also we have uh, another idea that I'm, we just going to stay tuned to. Just so this is just an idea um, of these geometric shapes above the tables. Then, what else? Okay, then, okay. So we put all of that information that I just gave y'all just then. And I gave her, again, remember, I'm an interior designer by trade. So then, I took the venue that we were at and bam! I then created a seating chart. I mean, not a seating chart, but a floor plan of kind of like what to do. And then the red things are each of the table names that we're, so instead of table numbers, we're doing table names. And we're going to do it of all the locations in Hawaii that JR and I have visited. And then, um, and have pictures beside. So, and I'll show you the names that I've started um, using my, Cricket or Cricut. I always mess that thing up. My bad, y'all. <laughs> um, so then we have that that I have put in here. So I've started with my mood, my vision board, my mood board, moved into morphing it into how it was actually going to come together. Then I have um, where I show you my invitation mock up. Then I have my order of, e I guess I could have just did this. So then I have my order of events here and how we want it all to go. And I'm going to finalize that with the um, planner uh, next week. Then on, um, on my Google Drive, I kind of started like a to-do list, my like thoughts. Um, uh, like the stuff for my dress, like, hey, I need to buy shoes. Oh, I need to do my alterations. Or this is the things about the venues. Oh, I like this venue. I don't like that venue. Cross it out, whatever. So it was just like literally like a running list of all that. And I probably didn't need to print that out, but I did anyways. So, and then, then I put in the sheets. So then I already talked about those. We'll keep going. So then the next thing I did, which I got this from another YouTuber that was getting married, was to put in all the count, put in an actual calendar of um, all your things to do. So like, I am going home, excuse my handwriting y'all, my bad, of um, when I'm going home and then when my different appointments are, um, or like down here I have the venue appointment and then I have the cake tasting and the food tasting and then the rentals. Um, and so I have it all the way through, like even like April, I have my dress alterations. Um, and then May, I went ahead and put in my bridal shots uh, when we plan to do that, when I'm going for my bachelorette trip. What else do I have? Then I also have when I should mail the invitations. And then I have um, everything in, sorry guys, everything in August. You know, buy the alcohol. Jared's leaving for his bachelor trip. And then, of course, the big wedding day. And then we're thinking of doing a fish fry after. And then also we're thinking of when we're trying to have our Hawaii reception, which um, this date is, you know, still kind of up in the air because I haven't solidified that one, but I need to solidify that one. And then some people go all the way to the end of the year, like, but I was just kind of like, well, I don't really think I need to do that. Um, okay, and then after that, then I had all my wedding contacts, which we already talked about that. Um, so... Then I have in here the alcohol. So we're doing open bar-ish. 
because I'm not paying for all them different types of alcohol, but I do want alcohol there, but you ain't finna get wasted at our wedding. Like, you get off of 15 different alcohols. So, we just kind of started um, writing down, like, different drink recipes that we liked because we plan to have a his and hers and then also what vodka we wanted what whiskey we wanted because we plan to have a vodka a whiskey and a rum uh prosecco and then moscato because i love moscato and then probably um a red wine and a sparkling cider and that's gonna be it and some mixers so you better mix what you want from the vodka whiskey or rum sorry if you're a gin drinker i'm sorry but i don't drink gin so sorry all right then next then i'm gonna show you guys my mock-up i mock up um wedding invitation that I have started and uh, of course when you do a thousand wedding invitations then you're like I don't know what I want <laughs> but it's all gravy JR and I we think we got it down so we're gonna do six by six style um and of course, you guys know, so I do all these hand designs here with my Wacom tablet on my computer. Freaking love it. It's fabulous. Um, and yeah, super traditional-ish, you know. And then plan on, again, colors are white and gold. So with a little rustic flair. So we're thinking of using... Um, these three as like the options for like the gate card and all that and y'all you know I was thinking of doing all that laser and I know I can cut it out here y'all I ain't trying to be that extra like but I think I am gonna put like a cute little leaf or something I don't know I had not like necessarily figured that part out yet but you know it's gonna be crew okay so then next next I have all my wedding contracts in the book that's the next thing so I have my wedding why did I close that sorry y'all <laughs> so I have my um wedding planner her contract and I figured, like, I I have them on the drive, but, yeah, I, if I got a question, I need to know what, what you, what you said, what I agreed to, so you won't go back on me, like, nah, 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 nah. okay, so, then I have my, um, venue contract, and then I also put the receipt for the, um, money orders that I sent them because I didn't want them to go back and be like we ain't get it nah nah bro you got you got my money orders and here's the receipt right here <clears throat> then I have um a lighting consultant sorry y'all I'm extra so this is his uh invoice and then here is my um my uh, saxophonist that I just decided that I wanted. I'm so excited. Um, this is his contract. And then I have, why don't I have, I have a contract for, well, okay. I don't necessarily have contracts for these, but I have, um, so I'm doing a tasting when I go home. Um, and so I have their, like, their menu. I have their menu for the tasting, like, what they offer. And then I also have their, um, I have their, like, pricing. 
for their catered menu, which they have amazing prices. You guys, if their food food is good, I mean, oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Because, y'all, this, this is $12.99 per well said. But, it, I mean, it's in Wilmington, North Carolina, so. All right, what else I got? Then I also have the, um, for the rental place, I have what they offer and then their pricing. And originally I was going to do, um, faux, like, plates and stuff, but I got the contract. Oh, I should have their invoice. Look, look at me. I'm missing an invoice. Um... When Amy went to look at them and kind of did like a mock-up one to rent plates, real plates from the rental company was 25 cents a plate. I couldn't beat it, y'all. Like I was like, oh, okay. I guess we're doing real plates then. <laughs> you know, like, oh, is that cheap? Oh, okay, never mind. But my girlfriend had told me before she was like real was too expensive, so they use fake. But I'm finding it's the other way around. All right, so we almost done, y'all. Promise, we almost done. The last thing that I have up here in my book is um, the cuts that I've made with the Cricut. So I have my complete bar menu cut out, ready to go. I'm going to put it on some wood when I get home. Then that will be set. Um, and I love this thing because it cuts out words. Cuts out words awesome. You know, I already got like, because I know we're not going to change our mind. But like, look how pretty this is cut this out. Y'all, it's awesome. Even down to, like this is one of our signature drinks do y'all see this y'all like perfect um so all i need is some transfer tape you know the beers that we're gonna have and my my drink like look how cute that has cut out so i'm excited for that and then um i have a couple gold triangles to go with the rest of the theme that we have so the geometric theme and then I have cut out all the table names. So, you know, we've been at Diamond Head and we have a few pictures there. And then we've been in North Shore. That's just the North in it. Mermaid, we've been there too. All right, what else? And then um, I want a sign that says we love because he first loved us. So I started, I at least got the love cut out. I need to cut out the rest of them. the rest of them. Oops, sorry, I moved my screen. Um, so that's in the back in because I like the the. Let's see if I can show you guys this. The uh, binders with the pockets. I made sure I got one with the pockets. Um, and then sorry guys, I keep hitting this thing. My computer. And then in the front of it, lastly but not least, um, my mom has kind of done like an inventory of what she bought at home. I showed you guys that before. Um, I have a couple things that I've cut out from a few magazines. Um, just to, like keep me in line and like inspiration picks. Like this would be an inspiration pick. Um, and then also... And then some of my sketches. <laughs> this is literally like when I was first starting out. Um, but I, I kept the sketches just because when I go home to actually, when I make the flower arrangements, I kind of wanted to be able to refer back to like my first vision, basically. So I kept those sketches. And then I just have scrap paper from my um, paper flower making that I plan to also finish when I go home. Um, I just need to buy some more paper. 
Um, so yeah, guys, that is it in my book so far. This is like my holy grail of my wedding. This and um, my drive. Like my drive has my whole guest list. My drive has all of this stuff in PDF. Um, and then I've let my... The good thing about Google Drive is it'll let you um, share it with other people. So I was able to share it with Amy, my wedding planner. I've shared it with my photographer so that he can kind of see the vision. And then I've also shared it with my two matrons of honor and my one maid of honor. Um, so just so they could kind of get an idea. Um, and then I have pages in there like with bridesmaid and this and the third. But I, did, I felt like I needed this as a more concrete. But alright, that's all I got for you. So... Stay tuned for the videos at home because I plan to do another haul. Because remember I told you I was going to show you everything that my mom has got. Cross my fingers that it looks good. <laughs> and then also, um, also me making the paper flowers and making the centerpieces and making the bouquets. So there's a few um, videos to come. Deuces, guys, or mahalo. <laughs>